In this video, we'll discuss PNP PowerShell for SharePoint Online. PNP PowerShell is a cross-platform power PowerShell module provide uh, more than 650 plus commandlets to work with uh, Office 365 applications like SharePoint, Microsoft Teams, and also works with Microsoft Planner as well as other like Microsoft Flows, other Office 365 apps we can able to work with this module. But uh, in this video, we'll cover how to connect with SharePoint and then so, uh, install PNP module in the system. And uh, if we have any issues resolving those, and if you want to uninstall how to uninstall this pnp module uh, and also we'll try to connect to the sharepoint site and when we are connecting and we need to pass the credentials and we'll see what are the different ways we have to pass the credentials uh, credentials in the pnp powershell and also we'll try to perform some basic operations using pnp powershell for sharepoint online so for that i'm trying to open powershell so when you try to open powershell you can see windows powershell and you can see windows powershell isc isc stands for integrated scripting environment and uh, so when you use this one you will have a window to write your script and uh, all the commandlets you can able to execute once if you use this one windows powershell so here you can able to write a line command and then if you want to execute the complete script and you need to call the file to execute it so that's why I'm opening this Windows PowerShell ISC. So uh, when, whenever you work for an organization, you won't have this administrative right. So that's why I'm, I'm opening this Windows PowerShell ISC. And here I'm trying to install this module. So for that, we have a command line called install hyphen module. And then the command line is pnp.powershell. And here, uh, when, when I try to execute this one, I'll get an error message because I don't have an administrative rights. To overcome this, uh, this issue, we can use a concept or a command uh, called scope and I'm trying to install for the current user. So when we click this one, it will install this PNP PowerShell module and then we'll see and what, what version it is installed. And then we'll try to write some commandlets and then if we get any issues, we'll try to resolve those. Now here, um, it is saying you are installing the module from untrusted repository. So it is asking for the confirmation. I'm clicking yes to all. Now it will download, uh, it will download this PNP PowerShell and it will install in the system. which is completed once it completes its code to the next commandlet so they will try to connect to a sharepoint site okay which is done now i'll open a new one here i'm trying to write a commandlet to connect so when i type connect and uh, i can see the intelligence which is correct pnp online so if you go to this one and we have to pass the URL. Now I'll pass the URL here. And uh, when you type this one here, we, we will get multiple options uh, to pass the credentials. Like when, when, when you are trying to connect this one, we have three options. One is get hyphen credentials but this one will not work if you have mfa so uh, if, if you pass like this you, you can uh, you can get a window and that window you can pass the username and password and if you use another option called use web login and this will open a login window from the web and you can get the mfa as well and you you can approve from your device and another option is interactive so you can use that one as well so you can type interactive and then you can able to enter the user id password so if you use this interactive so you can uh, you can you you no need to pass every no need to pass for each and every site but if you use use web login you need to pass um, you need to pass the credentials every time now I'm clicking run, but uh, I'll explain this one later because we will get the error with this one. So now the connect PNP command was found in the module so and so, but it is not it. Uh, but the module could not be loaded for more more information. And to run this one, it is asking to run this one. But if you run this one also, 
this issue will not resolve and uh, I'm typing this import module I'm typing this pnp dot powershell and if you press enter you'll get this message could not load file or assembly so there is a problem with the version and uh, you can check what version we have installed so for that we have a command called get module and uh, I'm trying to get the pnp powershell module and uh, I'm passing list available so we have 2.2.0 there might be an issue with this version to resolve this one we have to uninstall this module but I, I logged in as an, a user I cannot able to do that so I'm going to another PowerShell window which is opened with administrator here I'm trying to uninstall module and then which is pnp dot power shell so I'm trying to uninstall this module pnp.powershell and when I so before clicking run and I'll I want to uninstall all versions of it now I'll try to run this one when you run this one it will uninstall this pnp powershell from the system okay so now it is passing another message which is currently in use so which is using here now what i'll do is i'll close this one click no and we'll try to run the same commandlet okay now it is uninstalled successfully i will open powershell again okay so this time we'll install a different version and i'll type install module then use the same pnp dot power shell and then use the required version so required version is one point uh, which is like one point uh, twelve point zero and i'm using one point twelve point zero which is a required version I'm trying to use this force and then I will use this clobber and we'll try to install this one now install module requires administrative rights this one we already discussed so I'm trying to use okay, I'm trying to use this scope here and uh, I'm trying to install for the current user now run this one It will take a while to install again it will download this version and it will install in the system installing package is completed now done and uh, I will try to connect now write this connect pnp online and then again we'll pass the url which is https resham solutions dot sharepoint.com after this one so we can pass the credentials so for that i'm using use web log in so when we run this one now here it is do you want to run the software from untrusted publisher no problem so always run now see it, it is opened a window and then which is already connected because uh, I already connected to this site earlier so that's why you just try to open that and it's connected but if you are trying to connect very first time and it will 
you know it will ask you uh, to you know enter the username as well as password and if you have mfa enabled and then it will pass or it will send an a message or you know it will send a push message to your mobile to approve it now which is already done it's just a simple warning a new version which is available 2.2.0 but here if you want to update uh, there is an option like update module with a name but uh, we required that 1.12.0 to overcome the issues we did it and we installed now it is working fine now it is connected so if you want to get the uh, you know list which are available inside this one you can use pnp list when you press this get pnp list and you will get all the lists which are available inside that site and you want to get the information about the same site you can use get pnp site so there is a command let so when you try type you can able to see this information for example if you don't know about the command lets which are available within the in, within this module what you have to do is you have to go to help and from the help you can able to see show command window from the show command window you can see the all the modules which are available for the windows powershell and all the modules which are installed in this system so it will open here and you can choose these all are the modules which are installed in this system and you can go we just installed pnp.powershell and then go here select this one and then you can see add pnp alert is available app is available and if you want to add the fields there is add pnp and if you want to add the file there is add pnp file and even for a list item also we have add pnp list item lot of command lets are available and which contains a different properties to you know enter when when you try to you know add pnp list item you need to give the list name as well as the you know uh, the item uh, fields and the values you have to pass here so we'll discuss all these command lets in the next video thanks for watching